Good morning gamers, today we have another Halo guide and this one is about another great movement ability in the game, that being the Repulsors. But the Repulsors aren't just about the movement, there's also a lot more to them. If you missed the grapple guide or the thrusters video, make sure you go check those out after this one as well and make sure you are subscribed to the channel as we push to 1k subscribers. But anyways guys, let's talk Repulsors. So as I mentioned, the Repulsors are a great movement mechanic in Halo Infinite. You can jump super high with them by jumping then repulsing, not the other way around. This can give you some nice peaks where the enemy doesn't know exactly where you are going to pop up, but you know exactly where you need to shoot. Extremely useful to deal some poke damage if you have teammates flanking. Delving further into the movement though, you can use this to boost you not just vertically, but also horizontally. Same philosophy as before, just a different way to do things. It can also be very useful. Also, you can use the repulsors to give you an extra boost when you're already being boosted. For example, the launchers here on Behemoth. Use useful if you're flying into enemies and need to confuse them, or maybe you get the ankle just right and get to hijack, to hijack a banshee out of the air. Since the repulsor gives you essentially just a higher jump, it also gives you a further jump. You can make jumps that you couldn't before just by using the repulsor. Since you can make these different jumps, this is very useful just for one, getting around the map, and two, making great rotations or flanks behind your enemies. And that just equals easy kills for you. Of course, we have to talk about the knockback effect of the repulsor. Everyone knows the best use for the knockback is kicking your enemies off the map, of course which you can also do with vehicles, which is very, very nice. Very useful to get out of a sticky situation or at least take someone out with you. The other useful part of the knockback of this ability is you can send nades and rockets back at your enemies. You can also do it with your own nades. Very useful to keep yourself from dying. I'm sure you've seen just a ton of clips of stuff like this by now. It's always awesome when you pull it off. I know you can repulse grenades and rocket, rocket launchers, or however I'm supposed to phrase that, but I'm not sure about other projectiles. I will be testing that very soon, however, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel for some future Halo myth-busting videos or something of that sort. But that's essentially all there is to repulsors. Use it for quick repositions, crazy peaks, flanks, pushing enemies off the map, and tossing around grenades and rockets and the sorts. Super useful ability to have in your back pocket. Make sure you experiment and see what all you can do with it. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you're subbed to the channel and like the video if you liked it. Comment down below all this stuff and make sure you click all the links in the description. Follow me at Twitch, follow me at Twitter, all the good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, it does mean a lot. I'll see you guys next week, GG's and goodbye.